Well, today we're testing Shooter King clothing. Don't try this at home. Oh, we're going to do lots of different stuff to put it through its paces. But this one is just for fun. Right, in this test, we're going to show the strength of Cordura, which Uta King Clothes is made of, which is second only to Kevlar. This is going to hurt, but like I said before, don't try this at home. Okay! Good, stone therapy. Amazing, <laughs> that is amazing. I thought I heard it rip, but it obviously didn't. Stitching still there. Pass the test, the drag test. Oh no, I've got my pod bike stuck in a pond. And I've got only a short piece of rope. So we need something to fill the gap. Ding! My trusty Shooter King coat. So this stitching is also made of Cadora, so it's incredibly strong. It's also used in boot manufacturing. But is it strong enough to take the strain? Don't tow this at home. Ah. No strain, no gain. Mission accomplished. Now back for a wash down and have a look at the product. See how it fares up. Well, we put the clothing through lots of tests today. This is the larder where we do all the deer. And there's one test we haven't done, and that's water. And hopefully, this will work. Hose away! <laughs> so, if you haven't already worked it out, we had a stunt double, and here he is, Steve, Shooterkin Steve. <laughs> We've done lots of tests, dragging up the rough track. been up and down this road three or four times over cattle grids we'll have a look at it later on see what the damage is or no damage hopefully then we went on to using it as a tow rope you know it was a quad bike it was in water it was up a bank so the pressure was on the back of the coat or quite across the, the shoulders of the coat obviously the front is reasonably clean but look at the back you know grain right in right up through we left the zips open so the zips get maximum so like wear, um, and the one thing we haven't done yet, water. This clothing tested to 10,000 pounds of pressure, known as 10,000 hydroscopic. Under that pressure, it will not leak for 24 hours. Now it's clean, we can see if there's any cuts, or marks on the back here. 
there's a few scrapes, but clearly it hasn't gone through, nowhere near, just literally just a little scrape. The stitching on the back is all fine. No problem with that at all. On the back here, we took a lot of pressure as we were going along the roadway. That's all clean. Even the stitching itself is not frayed at all. Still dry all that through here. All the seams. It's an important bit at the back, the shoulders, body seam. Just in case you think it's not been tested enough. We've seen if anything will rub through. No, you can see, dry the bone. And that's where it's taken most of the impact. So dragging it with, that, with the weight on top of it, it's snapped a bit of the stitching on the outside here, but as you can see, full pull, there's, um, you know, the clothing's still not coming apart. So obviously it's some internal stitching and it's is holding it together well. There's a bit of a graze through the middle there, where when we're probably dragging up the road. Little trousers, obviously trickle down the back where we were pressure washing the pockets to get these zips clean. Obviously they were caked in um, sand. <laughs> There's all sand and grit in the pockets. And yeah, we left them open on purpose, basically just to show that <laughs> Oh, look in here. <laughs> Great. Yes, yeah, so he's um, obviously a gold miner. Sieving through, find some gold. Um, yeah, just to show that the zips, you know, still work after they've been scraped along the road, run through gravel and sand. There's a bit of wet wear there, obviously, where it's been absolutely scraped on, but what do you expect? pair of trousers on a rough track going 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Don't need convincing. The stuff works. Good value for money. Look out.